Dead Cells is a linear game, but if you don't stray from the beaten path, you'll never get to explore the 17 biomes packed into the world. My name is Kodiak, and in today's video, I'll show you how to unlock every rune in Dead Cells. give players new abilities. New abilities unlock new biomes, and new biomes hold more challenges, different gear, and more secrets. The first rune players will want to grab is the Vine Rune. The Vine Rune allows players to sprout a vertical vine from various points throughout the game. During a new playthrough, players are required to obtain the Vine Rune before they can gain access to any biome past the promenade. Once a player has reached the perceivable end of the promenade, they will have to face an elite enemy. Once defeated, the Vine Rune will drop, and players will have new access to areas to explore. Acquiring the Vine Rune grants players access to the Toxic Sewers and the Ramparts. Players that continue on past the Promenade of the Condemned will have to fight their way through the Ramparts to the Black Bridge. The Black Bridge is home to the first boss, and if you're having trouble defeating him, I recommend you check out the Game Guru's Guide here. The second rune that players will most likely stumble across is the Challenger Rune. This rune gives players access to daily challenge runs. These runs have no impact on the main story, the gear you've unlocked, or the progression throughout the game, but do offer you a new activity if you're looking for a distraction from the main story. To unlock the Challenger rune, players will have to defeat the Concierge on the Black Bridge. To unlock the next rune, we must go back to the Prisoner's Quarters. Utilizing our new Vine rune, we'll make our way to the Toxic Sewers. The Toxic Sewers presents us with a handful of new enemies, including Scorpions, Disgusting Worms, and the Kamikaze Bats. But if you explore the entire biome, you'll run into a set of prison bars. A strange creature enlists your aid and tasks you with finding a rune. Journey a little deeper into the toxic sewers and you'll stumble across another room with an elite. Defeat the elite, pick up the treasure, and say hello to your new teleportation rune. This rune allows you to access various teleportation points throughout the game and also opens up another set of biomes for you to explore. With the Vine Rune and Teleportation Rune under your belt, it's time to acquire your next rune. Players will want to head back to the Promenade of the Condemned, reach the end of the biome, but instead of taking the elevator to the ramparts, you'll want to run past the area to a small corridor. Utilizing your new Teleportation Rune, you'll have access to the Ossuary. The Ossuary is a large zone filled with deadly enemies. On my first playthrough, I got obliterated by the Slashers, Shockers, and Lacerators. If you're relatively undergeared, I recommend you take this zone slow. When I was running low on health, I opted for a ranged approach, letting my traps do the bulk of the work. Eventually, you'll reach an open door, and if video games have taught me anything, it's that once I go inside, it will slam shut and I'll be forced to fight something deadly. Once again, players will be faced with an elite, standing between them and the next rune. Take care of the enemy as you will, and claim your new Ram rune. This rune will empower your Ground Slam ability, granting you access to new areas and sometimes a new way to defeat your enemies. At this point, players will really have the option to go for either of the last two runes. If you're looking for a challenge, reaching the final boss and acquiring the Homunculus rune is your best bet. If you'd prefer to go a different route, you can try and obtain the Spider rune. We'll start with the latter. Unlocking the Spider Rune takes a bit of time, but players that have unlocked the Vine Rune, Teleportation Rune, and Ram Rune will find it to be the next logical step. Starting back in the Prisoner's Quarters, players will want to work their way through to the Toxic Sewers. Once in the sewers and with your Ram Rune handy, players will have access to the Ancient Sewers. There aren't many new challenges here, but you will have to face the Spiker, an annoying new foe that can catch you off guard if you're not paying attention. Once you've managed to make it through the sewers, you'll end up in the insufferable crypt. Here, you'll face another boss, Conjunctivitis. For help defeating this boss, I recommend you check out our video here. While she isn't the most challenging boss, there are a few things you'll want to know, but this video is all about runes, so let's get back on the hunt. Once you've defeated Conjunctivitis, you'll have access to the Slumbering Sanctuary, a difficult biome that fluctuates between two themes. Before activating the Ancient Temple Switch, you'll be faced with Zombies, Catchers, Maskers, and Casters. Maskers have the ability to cloak nearby enemies, so be sure you're paying attention to your surroundings. It's incredibly easy to fall victim to a Catcher cloaked by a Masker. Before phasing the Ancient Temple, you'll reach a new room housed with an Elite. Defeat the enemy and claim your new spider rune. With this rune active, you'll be able to cling and jump between walls with ease. The final rune in Dead Cells is obtained once you've defeated the final boss, the Hand of the King. 
all paths lead to the hand, so players don't need to worry about obtaining the teleportation, ram, or spider runes before they can tackle the boss. In fact, I waited until after I killed the hand to obtain the ram and spider rune. The choice is completely up to you. The homunculus rune provides the most unique change to the game. Players who have acquired the rune will now have the ability to detach their head from their body and control it. The head can be used to bring back blueprints and loot, and can also disable a single enemy's movement. Once the head has reached a certain distance away from the player, it will snap back to the body. To be honest, once you've unlocked the other runes, you won't use this ability too often, but it is still nice to have. I hope this video has helped you unlock the various runes scattered throughout Dead Cells. With 17 biomes to explore, having the various runes unlocked will provide you with hours of new content to explore. If you have a question about unlocking a particular rune, feel free to leave us a comment below, or consider joining our Discord community, where we talk about the latest video game news, titles, and trends, including Dead Cells. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at The Game Gurus, thanks for watching, and play on.